Hey guys, Iron Pine here on the Comrade SMP for another episode. And in today's episode, we will be fighting a Wither. And I know y'all are probably thinking back to <laughs> the last time I fought a Wither here on the Comrade SMP. And you're probably face palming and saying, oh no, Iron Pine's gonna die again. This is very predictable. My goal in this Wither fight is to not die, alright? That is my goal. If I cannot, if I don't die, um, it will be a successful weather fight, in my opinion. So, um, I have gathered all the necessary materials. I will show you guys what I have gathered. We will clear out a spot for the weather fight, and then we will go ahead and fight this thing. I am in the familiar um, weather fighting location. This should almost just be called, you know, Wither Hub Central here on the Comrade SMP. Uh, this is the same location where I fought my first weather. I believe I fought him somewhere down this path. Yes, this is where I fought my first wither, right over in this area. And then the major bowler um, recently fought a wither uh, on camera over in this area. And I believe this is where I will fight my wither. Um, somewhere down in these halls. Oh, hello, skeleton. That would be really regrettable to die to a skeleton right before we were about to fight a wither. Because that would show that I cannot PvP, or PvE, I should say, at all. But anyways... This is where Major fought his wither. I will fight my wither on a little extension off of this. Probably somewhere down here. Let's go ahead and clear out a room. And then we will get ourselves set up for this wither fight. And this is really all I have. Oh boy, okay. This is really all I have planned for this episode. It's just a wither fight. What level am I? 31. Um, I, don't, I don't really have anything else planned. I've been not really in a big old building mood today and so I don't think I will work anymore on the iron woods and on the house that is going into the mountain uh, that we are working on so I think we'll probably just do the weather fight and then maybe I will give you all a quick tour of the iron woods or something and uh, we will go from there but that all depends on what happens in this weather fight if we um, can manage not not to die and uh, that stuff so let's go ahead and clear out a little bit of a hole here. Oh, and it's next to a cave. I can hear the uh, skeletons in the water. That is less than um, delightful. But we'll go ahead and place our soul sand down, and we will leave the wither skulls to be placed in just a moment. So let me go ahead and show you guys all of the material that I have gathered, and hopefully I, all the material that I will not lose as we go to fight the wither this time. So I think I have my bed and my shulker box and stuff uh, plenty far away from the wither that no harm should come, hopefully. I'll place the bed there, we'll go ahead and sleep through the night. And then I'll show y'all all the goodies I have. Alright, so I have both an inner chest and a shulker box. In the shulker box, I have a lot of goodies. And in the inner chest, I have just my typical stuff. Um, Nothing in here will really be used for the wither fight, or at least I don't plan to use it for the fight. This is all my goodies. Alright, so I have three regen 2 potions. Then I have three night vision potions for 8 minutes. I have three fire resistance potions for 8 minutes. I have three strength 2 potions. And I have three instant health 2 potions. Then I have four golden apples, a backup bow. I have an iron helmet that's a backup of a backup of a backup. <laughs> then I have a ba two backup sets of armor just with random stuff on them. Um, some of this stuff I found in cities, other of it I have just enchanted. And that's about it. So I'm getting ready here for three iterations of combat. So I'm going to take one fire resistance, one night vision, um, one strength two, one instant health two, and one regen. No. We're gonna take two regen twos. All right. Oh, and I also have some extra mutton. We're going to take three golden apples. In my inner chest, I'm gonna drop off my iron fortune, iron silk, my uh, iron lightning, wood, crafting tables, buckets, flint and steel, um, dirt. We'll leave torches and we'll leave ender pearls. You never know when we need that. And all of this stone, which probably don't need that much stone. Oh, I also need to leave couple arrows. I need to split my arrow in half um, in the event that I die and I need more arrows for my bow. 
drop the stone over here. And I am wearing my best armor. Alright, my best armor for this wither fight. If I lose this armor, I will be distraught. Alright, I can already feel the butterflies coming on. I just need to treat this as a PvE moment rather than a PvP. So, instant health regeneration is something we'll drink as soon as we get withered, pretty much. Um, night vision and fire resistance we will drink um, right before the fight. Yeah, <sighs> man, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. There's nobody else on the server to provide me backup. So should this fight go really bad, I will have to log off the server and let folks know what's going on and see if anybody else can help me here. All right. So, game plan. Let's place the two skulls. Okay. Man, I shouldn't be this nervous. Let's drink fire resistance first. Night vision. Boom, boom, boom. And without further ado, Iron Pine is fighting with her. Holy smokes, what am I doing? I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, here comes the inevitable blow up. Boom, okay. He's coming in. Oh, he's got water. He's broken in some water. Good, we got this stuff. Alright, let's back him up. Back him up here, okay. We're hitting him again, we're hitting him again. Oh man, he's in a ravine. That is just what we don't need. We need to keep him out of this ravine. Out of this ravine. You get back out of that. You stay out of that ravine, dude. I have a Smite 5 axe with me, which is really something that's necessary. We haven't gotten withered yet. All right, now, Smite 5 axe time. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, um, strength, regen, and let's get in here. Boom, I don't care what you say, dude. We're gonna win, and we're gonna win big. Whoa. We just won. Oh, yeah, dog. We just beat this wither. And look at this ravine. It's so nice with, like, the night vision. Makes it look like it's bright daylight in here. Ooh, and there's some gold. I don't have my pickaxe on me. That's all right. Probably didn't even need the regen now that I'm thinking about it. But we had it anyways. We got ourselves a nether star. I am just absolutely astounded that it was, like, that simple. That was really great that it was so simple. Really great. Alrighty, well, I mean, I could take another wither on, but I don't have any skulls, so we will obviously not be able to do that. But yeah, we just fought in a wither, guys. We just fought a wither. Awesome, let's pack up our stuff and let's head home. Great, great, great. Awesome, we didn't even have to use any of our golden apples. That's good, I can use those when I'm PvPing with folks later on. Um, wow, so cool. We'll leave this bed down here and this ender chest for folks, I guess, um, as this has kind of become the official uh, place to fight the wither. Let's put our nether star in our ender chest. That way, nothing uh, happens to that. In the meantime, we can go ahead and get our stuff back and uh, head out of here. Wow, I'm just so glad that that wither fight went well. I'm so used to having wither fights go absolutely horrible. Um, well, especially after that last weather fight. So it's good to have one go right. You know what? Alright, so I think we're going to leave this shulker box and make it our, like, combat box or something. I think that would be pretty cool. But we'll leave this bed here. Um, that way, folks can use that um, should they want to come down here and fight the weather. But wow, I am so glad that weather fight went well. Well, I guess at this point in the episode, we will head back to my house. I will give you all a quick tour of the Iron Woods um, and just a little update on some of the work I've done off camera. And then I will probably end the episode there. So we are about to enter into the domain of the Iron Woods. This river right here marks the um, barrier between the wild and the Iron Woods. So at this moment, we are now in the Iron Woods. And um, I'm not sure how much land the Ironwoods actually encompasses. That would be a good thing to figure out. 
But over here on this island um, that I have claimed, we have a fish farm and we have our crops and uh, that type of stuff, like a little cow farm. So this is the agricultural uh, island on the iron woods here. And then we have this big area right here, which is being, uh, which has been cleared and is awaiting a large project to come to it. That will come hopefully within the next, I don't know, 10 to 15 episodes. Then we have the villager breeder. Um, it's currently defunct, but uh, we hope to get it fixed soon and are up and running. It will most likely get moved when we build our big uh, project over in this area of the iron woods. But that will come all in due time. Then you've probably noticed the wall. I do need to put a little bit of a capstone on top of it. It looks like a creeper's blown up in here at some point. So this wall pretty much encompasses the entire iron woods. It starts at this river. Um, I actually should put make the wall go all the way up here. But it starts right here and it goes all the way to the other end of the iron woods. And so this is a defining feature of the woods, I would imagine. Um, then over here we have our double spawner, which is a skeleton and zombie spawner. This is a communal build here, and it is for everyone on the server. Flick that off. And it also has a level 30 enchantment table. And then right next to this is a cave that leads down to a laboratory where um, some mysterious bone blocks were found and other uh, special or other items of special interest. I will not go down here because uh, it's a real mess down there. And um, this happened to be a prank on Lucky Shot 13 that actually blew him up and made him lose all of his armor. So um, <laughs> that is the history behind that little um, part of lore of my base about the uh, mysterious bones down there. Then as you emerge from here, uh, you'll see three major buildings. One of them, wow, that night vision makes the sun really awkward and interesting. Looks like I have a texture pack on or something. Over here we have our villager trading center, which I still need to work on an entrance for that. Uh, the entrance is not complete. But we have a nice floor here and an area where we can trade with all of our villagers. Then we come down here and we have a nano farm where uh, we can uh, get a whole lot of potatoes using our bone meal on and our super fast nano farm here that we can use to trade with our farmer villagers and so this is a really handy part of the iron woods especially when we die and we lose some of our stuff we can get our mending books and uh, be back on our way so then over here we have the stables and this was probably the second building on the iron woods i built and it, it houses all of our horses this is the stable for uh the boss which is muni rider's horse and this right here is the stable for james which was one of my horses that has gone missing in action um so i think night vision's about to wear out yep so this is the stable for james but james is currently not here right now um i believe he has died somehow somewhere and then now we come to the main part of the iron woods which is the house i'll go ahead and sleep through the night real quick and then we can um, take a look at the rest of the main house. So here's a little map of the Ironwoods. It's not complete and it's not um, totally totally finished, but uh, it's it's a little bit of a start. So over here's the super chunk, which we will uh, see in just a minute. But first of all, let's take a look at the main house. So I have a little bit of a table here where I can meet with some of my fellow friends, and then we have some armor, sets of armor, and other items. And over here we have our smeltery, where we have a huge array of furnaces, and we have our storage system. Now, I really love this storage system, I believe it is uh, awesome. It's kind of modeled off of a Zoomavoid storage system from the Hermitcraft server. Let's go ahead and drop my shulker box off uh, while I'm thinking about these things. And there's another star. Um, and then you head upstairs, and you will see that the upstairs is mostly uh, living quarters. We have a library slash enchanting room here where I can just sit back and relax and enjoy a good enchanted book. <laughs> I guess if you read those things, I don't know. Then over here you have my bedroom, which is rather small, rather quaint. It's got a cactus, uh, one of my first swords that I had on the server, um, which is actually a pretty nice sword. I'm breaking three, smite four, looting three, fire aspect two. Uh, I used the sword for a long time on the server. Then you have the iconic iron pine rose. Um, which, yeah, that's got some symbolicness to it, but yeah. 
And then you have my bed up here and a cauldron for me washing my face or something. And then you have this little area, which I've not decided what I want to do with this yet. Oh boy, I have lots of mobs spawning back here. Um, but this will likely be like a su subscriber hall or a hall of patrons or something like that in the future. Um, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it quite yet. So let me know down in the comment section below what y'all think this hall would be nice for. Um, and it just hit me that I could put an armory in here, and that might look good. But I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, so that's the upstairs of the iron woods. So now we will head over to the super chunk and what is going on over there. And I will show you all that. So this right here is pretty much a pathway between the main part of the iron woods over to the second area area and also leads through uh, one of my gates over here. I guess this is the south south gate of the iron woods which leads to Muni Rider's base and Kuya SGA's base. Um, so over here in the iron woods the super chunk is right below us and right here we have a building that heads into a wall that is still under construction as you can see and I'm still in the process of figuring out the roof as it is much higher than the hill that it is next to. So I'm still in the process of figuring that out, but uh, hopefully we'll be working on this building maybe in the next episode. And if we head down this ladder, we'll get into the super chunk, which is an awesome thing. This took me a long time to build, but I think it looks rather cool. Um, I don't have it quite lit up as it should be yet, but uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So you can see there's a lot more mobs and slime spawning. But this thing does put out the slimes if I hang around in the area. There are a lot of slimes in here. So then you come down to the bottom and you can just run around here as much as you want. And uh, it's a pretty cool area down here. Especially when it's all dark, it looks really cool with the magma blocks. But that is about it uh, for the iron woods. There's a tree I want to climb up here to give y'all a all-encompassing view of the iron woods. I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour of it in case some of you guys are new to my YouTube channel and haven't been following me the entire season. I want y'all to be able to see what I've been doing here on the server, um, and especially in the Iron Woods. Whoa! Somehow I fell off the ladder. That was unintended. Very, un very much unintended. Tell you what, I'll catch y'all when I uh, ascend that tree that I was talking about. Welcome to the highest point in the Iron Woods. I am atop the tallest tree over here and there's a great view from this place you can see over into Lucky Shot 13's uh, Crater Lake you can see a little bit of Muni Rider's base uh, you can see Violentis' base as it begins to load in you can see Mr. Tubular's base you can see Promethean's base um, if it will load in as well you can see a great view of the Iron Woods over here so you have the super chunk you have the corner of the wall which I do need to put some towers on my wall at some point you got the south gate you have the west gate over in this direction, you have the villager trading center, the stables, my main house, and then over my main house is my um, farms in that area. Wow, that was a pretty cool inner pearl. Yep, here's my farms and the island over there with the river that comes through them. Which I should name this river actually, that just occurred to me. Um, what's a good name? A river coming through the iron woods. The iron river. Yeah, iron the iron waters, iron water or iron river, and it's the iron waters. Oh, and I forgot to show you all my mine shaft. Um, this is one of the first things I built on the server before I even had a theme down for my base. Thus, the spruce and the oak wood, rather than the dark oak and the spruce. Um, but yeah, I built a mine shaft that goes all the way down to level 11 for strip mining. At the moment, it's underutilized because I haven't been mining much. But in the early days of the server, a lot of the other comrades. Uh, use this mine shaft, and they used it very often. So it's it's still um, a useful part of the server, but it's um, it's it's quickly growing obsolete uh, as we uh, mine and mine less and start to build more. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching my video. I am uh, absolutely uh, amazed that we were able to kill that wither so easily. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the tour, the tour of the Iron Woods. If you did, make sure to give me a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And one quick thing I did want to mention before I leave is that I realize I'm never going to be a big YouTuber. I always say, you know, make sure to like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. In all of this YouTube business, I'm not looking to be become a big YouTuber. I realize I've already failed at that objective and failed miserably at that. Because uh, there's a couple guys I'm subscribed to and I know who, 
you know, they've started YouTube a month or maybe two months ago, and they're already at 80 to 100 subscribers, and they're growing by four to five subscribers a day. And if you're going to become a big YouTuber, you really have to have that type of growth from the beginning. I've been running my YouTube channel for around six months now, um, or at least actively running it for around six months, and I'm at 32 subscribers. So I realized that I'm never really going to go anywhere um, unless I drastically improve my quality and other things. But I still do it just because I find it enjoyable and it's um, some little outlet for my creativity. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope y'all are having a great day wherever y'all may be located in the world. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Iron Pine, running through a wheat field, and I'm out. I will catch y'all later.